you absolutely did describe that whole kind of uh, thing around the value proposition and and how you can value what it is that you do rather than just putting a price on yourself per hour. Um, but it is still something that I have have trouble with. And I just wonder, do you gauge, can you gauge what it is that you do and what you should charge by looking at other people in your sphere, in, in you know, in what you're doing? Uh, yeah, I think inevitably you don't want to you don't want to price yourself uh, out of the market, so to speak. Um, but you do want to have a, a, a fair uh, fair reward for for what you are delivering. And I th I think, and you've heard me say this uh, before, that it requires it requires looking at your the future value that you have delivered. So as opposed to saying, you know, well, well, I deliver value, what is the, be curious about what the future value is that you deliver. So if um, if I was being briefed for, uh, you know, a senior management conference at which a, a new corporate strategy was being announced, then instead of going, well, yeah, we can do this really nice stuff and it'll look brilliant and uh, everyone will be able to hear and see and there were flashing lights and then we'll bring on this and then we'll have a guest speaker who will be absolutely fantastic and at the end of it, when all of that's finished, what is it that is valuable about that experience for the ongoing life of, of that business that is commissioning that event from me? And, you know, taking what you to do, uh, Jackie, the, the, you know, what does the power to speak give people once you have delivered that for them? Not accepting that they do quite a lot of work in that as well, but... You know what is what is that worth to them? And you know you 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 I know have a a kind of um, power to talk to investors. If you're working with someone who's trying to raise money for a business, and they manage to achieve that because of the way that they uh, the power with, with which they spoke to those investors and the creativity with which they did, then that's worth a lot of money to them. So why shouldn't you charge something that was worth a lot of money? For them to have that, and and the confidence bit is that you you can persuade them that if they have that thing that you deliver, they can get that value. Um, and if they do, uh, I've got I've got a client who <laughs> says, "I like clients who do what I tell them," and I couldn't agree more because a lot of clients don't bother to do what you tell them, and so it doesn't work. And then they blame you for it. But actually, it's you know, but if they do. Then they get something that they can take forward that is going to be, you know, in some um, instances, completely life changing. And I'm sure yeah. you have seen that with with your work. You've seen people transform from meek and mild, or I don't want to say anything, into this kind of um, raging Steve Bulmers on stage, <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. boosters to to say yeah. what they need to say. Yeah. I don't want to get them overexcited. I mean, just, you know, just to get out there and deliver, deliver their message. Um, but no, that is, that's, that is incredibly valuable to, to anybody that's sort of in, in my position, just to hear that, I think. So thank you for that. Um, in terms of creativity though, do you, do you think creativity is important in, in any business or just in creative business? I think that what, what it is, um, is absolutely essential for businesses to be able to express themselves, creativity is absolutely essential. There's There are so many different businesses in this world who are doing similar sorts of stuff. How else are they going to differentiate themselves other than with a bit of creativity? But also, and now you can see how, you know, we've seen poet laureates on the news writing poems about this awful situation that's going on in in ukraine and you know the, the, they're writing poems about it why because it really affects people it moves people and that's creativity that creativity works in you know across the board we can't do without it however dry i worked with um, you know some large accounting firms and that can be quite dry and, and they needed our you know kind of spark to 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 ignite some of the ideas which were brilliant um, in their own business because they weren't able to communicate them. So it's it's an essential part of business as it is uh, an essential part of our lives, um, creativity. And it and it, it should and it's it's worth an awful lot to businesses to have that input.